Jonathan, and tonight the FBI is digging deeper into the murder of a transgender Wayne State University student, now investigating it as a possible hate crime. 7 Action News reporter Curtis Jackson, he's live on Detroit's east side. And Curtis, what do you know about this? Well, Glenda, tonight police tell us that violence against the LGBT community in Detroit is up, peaking with the murders of two transgender women in less than a month. I was always in fear for my son's life. And every time I received a phone call, I thought it was going to be that call. And July 14, 2015 was that call. 25-year-old Ashton O'Hara, a transgender, stabbed to death and run over by a car on the east side a month before Amber Monroe was killed on the north side of Detroit last weekend. Tonight, police say violence against the LGBT community is up, in part because their crimes are underreported. That if we have members from the community talking to us from the onset of violence, we may be able to prevent a tragic crime like murder. Hoping to bridge the gap between police and the LGBT community, both sides meet in Palmer Park, looking for a way to break the silence and the stigma of transgender prostitution linked to the violence. There has been a lot of instances to where they don't come to help. And people know that. Six Mile and Woodward, you call the police, and for the most part, they don't come to help you. I spoke with U.S. Attorney Barbara McQuaid, and she says while no case can be discussed in particular, she does say that the FBI is looking into both of these cases as possible hate crimes. We're live in Detroit tonight. Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Curtis. And to help with funeral expenses, an online fund has been set up by the Ruth Ellis Center. The organization assists LGBT youth in our area, and if you'd like to donate, be sure to indicate in the acknowledgement area that your contribution is for Amber Monroe's funeral fund.